Have you noticed your MacBook battery, how can I put this, swelling up? Don't panic, but it's crucial that you take action immediately. In this video, I'll guide you through what to do if your MacBook battery is swollen and how to prevent it from happening in the first place. First things first, let's understand what exactly a swollen MacBook battery is. MacBooks use lithium ion batteries, which can expand in size under certain circumstances. The slim design of MacBooks leaves little room for battery swelling, making it a potentially dangerous issue. So why is a swollen MacBook battery dangerous? Well, the physical expansion can put pressure on internal components, causing malfunctions and impacting your MacBook's safety and functionality. Also, a bulging battery can pose a fire hazard, especially if you don't do anything about it. So what causes a MacBook battery to swell? Age, manufacturing defects, high temperatures, and overcharging are common culprits. Exposure to moisture or other environmental factors can also contribute to the problem. It's important that you're aware of these factors and take action if you suspect your battery is swelling. Diagnosing a swollen MacBook battery is relatively straightforward. Look for physical changes like bulging or warping on the bottom or sides of your MacBook. Check if the trackpad or keyboard become unresponsive or difficult to use. You can also use Apple's battery health tool or run diagnostics to confirm your suspicions. But can you fix a swollen MacBook battery yourself? In most cases, I wouldn't recommend this. Trying to fix it yourself can be dangerous and may cause further damage. Apple MacBooks are not designed to be user serviceable in general. Instead, you should rely on a professional who has the expertise and tools to safely replace the battery. If you discover a swollen MacBook battery, here's what you should do. First, stop using your MacBook immediately. Turn it off, unplug it, and disconnect any accessories. Handle the MacBook with care. Avoid putting pressure on the swollen battery. Contact a professional repair service and make an appointment. While you wait for the repair, it's crucial to store and transport the MacBook safely. Keep it in a cool and dry place away from direct sunlight or heat. This will help prevent any potential accidents. Now let's talk about preventing MacBook battery swelling in the first place. Proper storage, avoiding extreme temperatures and using the right charger and not overcharging your MacBook are all very important. Modern Macs running the latest macOS will automatically limit your charge if the laptop is always plugged in, so at least overcharging isn't something you have to worry about anymore. If your MacBook battery is swollen, remember that safety should be your top priority. You should take immediate action, find professional help, and follow the preventative measures I mentioned to keep your MacBook battery in excellent condition. Stay informed and you'll protect your MacBook investment.